Hi guys, today I want to show you a new track I've been working on. It's completely made in the box. I have not touched any of my hardware synthesizers over here. It is released by the time you're watching this and it sounds like this. It's made with FL Studio, let's check it out. The track is made out of four elements. I got some drums, the bass, pads and computer voice so there's no more things I wanted to keep it old school just reduced instrumentation the drums are made with 808 samples just single shot samples kick snare clap hi-hat I programmed a few uh, patterns. Uh, multiband compressor on the kick. So the multiband compressor on the kick is changing the sound quite a bit. That's it for the drum track. Uh, one thing special. I have a cymbal here, a cymbal sound, uh, and I put an echo bode effect on it. Really cool effect, I uh, love this plugin anyway, it's just great. For the bass I wanted to use a classic synthesizer that was used for uh, many electro tracks it's the Alva Juno, I got one over here but I'm just using a really great plugin Redominator by um, Audio Realism and uh, yeah they, 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 they made a nice emulation. Bass is also one pattern. one slight variation so this gives me the basic track to found uh, the foundation of the track I want the pad to have an early 90s sound so I went for the Kawai K1 and the great guy Neil Schneider, I guess, made a virtual version, the K1V. The original synthesizer is digital anyway, so I guess this uh, plugin sounds pretty spot on. And he even imported all the original factory presets. And I really like them. So I was using the Return Home preset. It's uh, made out of two layers. There are four layers, they're called source in the plugin and um, one is the voice loop and the second one is just the pan flute pan flute loop not too great on its own but combined they sound like this The computer voice is obviously made by a computer and uh, it's based on a very old program. Uh, it's called the Software Automatic Mouth. It was made for the C64. And another great guy, Sebastian Macke, made the uh, implementation of this uh, algorithm for the browser. Hello, my name is Seb. So you can type in a few words and uh, they are spoken by the computer a few words. and I just typed in uh, C H I P you get it C -H -I -P -S -T -R -double -S. recorded them with the virtual audio cable into the computer C -H pitch them down a little bit and uh, cut them up into single pieces put on some effects old school sounding reverb 
should sound almost like the Super Nintendo. And also another reverb by D16 Group. Works perfectly with this old school vibe. The arrangement was pretty easy because there's not so many patterns there. Uh, made some variation with the rimshot sound. And also included a longer part just with beats at the beginning and the end to make it just easier uh, to mix it in a DJ set. Okay, zum Schluss, let's have a look at the plugins I used for mixing. Bass drum. Snare. Hi-hat. Rim shot. Eight oh eight drums are routed to a bus. Another front DAW there. Bass. Ah, there's a volume shaper on the bass, it's set to one bar and I'm just ducking the low end a little bit when the kick and snare hits. Let's have a look at the pad. everything together you can get this track on Bandcamp at the moment it's free name your own price and also on Spotify and everywhere else thanks for watching please subscribe if you like this type of content and leave your comments down below peace